What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can adjust the layout of your pivot table fields in Microsoft Excel, which can make it much easier to work with pivot tables. So first, click into the pivot table that you want to adjust the, that you want to work in. So if for some reason the field list is not showing, go to the pivot table analyze tab and then click on field list. And as you can see, now here are different fields that we can use in our pivot table. You can either have them just an active table that we're working in, or you can show all the fields. Um, that are relevant to this pivot table. So to adjust the layout, we can click on the settings tab right here for tools. And it's Excel defaults to having the field section in the area section stacks. So the field section is just the field you can drag. The area section is more with the kind of the structure of the pivot table, but you can have them side by side if you'd like to. That can make it a little bit easier to work with. You can also show just the field section list, which is great if you have a lot of different fields that you're trying to work with. Or you can also show just the area section, which is also great if you're trying to figure out the layout of your pivot table and how you want it to be structured. Or you can add just the area section list, um, but kind of stack like this as opposed to a 2 by 2 So going back to the default section, you can also choose to expand or collapse your fields, which is great if you've worked with multiple tables. So if I go to Tools and I click on Collapse All, as you can see, the field collapse into the table. table. But if I click on expand all, then as you can see, I see all the fields relevant that are inside the table. Now, you can also change how these are sorted. So as you can see, going, going to the back of the tools, they are sorted in based on however sorted they are in the data that I'm working with. But I can also sort them alphabetically, which can make it easier to find if I have a lot of different fields that I'm working with. Or I can have them sorted in the data source order, which can be great if I am very familiar with the data that I'm working with. And lastly, I can choose, you know, right now it's defaults to be two group related related tables, but if I have multiple tables, um, I can choose to have that selected or unselected. I only have one table, so the setting isn't super relevant for what I'm working in, but you can group or choose to not group related tables. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. I hope this will make working with pivot tables just a little bit easier for you. Have a great day.